Pinirmahan na ng National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council o NDRRMC at SMS Global Technologies Incorporated ang Memorandum of Agreement na magsusulong sa layuning gawing moderno ang communication facilities ng ahensya na tinatawag na Intelligence Operations Center o IOC. Kabilang din dito ang pagpaprovide ng mga sasakyan o tinatawag nilang Emergency Telecommunication Team o COMOVAN na maaaring agad na i-deploy matapos ang isang disaster. The capacity building component wherein SMS committed to train all ICT personnel not only in the use of this equipment but likewise in its maintenance. The building will be constructed for 8 to 10 months for the hardware and software to be completed that would connect to the 17 OCD regional offices will take a total package of one year and six months. So meaning to say, on the first quarter of 2016, this intelligent operation center will be operational already. Ayon kay Undersecretary Del Rosario, maging ang trahedyang nangyari noong nakaraang taon sa Leyte dahil sa labis na epekto ng pananalasa ng Typhoon Yolanda sa bansa, halos hindi makapagresponde ang Office of National Defense. Paniniguro nito sa pamamagitan ng Intelligence Operation Center, kaya nang harapin ang mga ganitong pangyayari. Uh, this will be high tech. Uh, uh, meron tayong video conferencing uh, in this new uh, setup. Magkakaroon tayo ng uh, rapidly deployable team. May communication one that can provide that. Sa ngayon, wala tayo noon. Tapos, uh, just like in Yolanda, in Tacloban City, bagsak lahat ang communication system. Pag dumating doon yung uh, communication ban natin with uh, equipment and personnel, makipag-establish ng communication dito sa national uh, headquarters so that we can provide the needs needed on the ground. So it is, will be a continuous command or communication facility. The key area here is that the facility will allow uh, the operation center to have an integrated infrastructure no? so that all news, whether local, whether from the local government, whether from the media and so on, can be centralized, assessed in one location. And um, the center would allow uh, the... Uh, and the RRMC to consolidate all this into something that could be easily digested and reported. Aabuti ng 300 milyong piso ang halaga ng nasabing proyekto. Ngunit kanilang paglilinaw, walang gagastusin ang pamahalaan sa proyektong ito. During our discussion, he laid out his intention of donating a facility that will help the council for free at no cost. To the government. Samantala, umaasa si Undersecretary Del Rosario na ngayong linggo o sa darating na linggo na ang pag-turnover niya ng kanyang posisyon. Ayon kay Del Rosario, nasa Malacanang na ang kanyang resignation letter at naniniwala siyang tinanggap na ito ni Pangulong Benigno Aquino III. I'm going to Malacanang and uh, I believe uh, the turnover will be uh, this week or next week. Ayaw naman pangunahan ng opisyal ang desisyon ng Pangulo kung kanino ibibigay ang maiiwang posisyon. Matatanda ang nag-resign si Del Rosario sa kanyang posisyon dahil sa kanyang kalusugan. Ako po ang inyong kaibigan, Maan Primero para sa Newslight.